Hey guys, um, I figured out, or I was watching a couple videos about how to get gold charms for low levels, and I'm trying to kill these little ice warriors. I've already fought them a couple times, killed about ten of them, I got seven. But I've heard that they drop a pretty good amount of charms, or gold charms, whatever you want to get, but if you're not looking for gold charms you can always go to water fiends if you have a really high combat level or something um, really good crush weapon like a varix flail, sgs, bgs something of that nature or if you have something like a chaotic maw that would work too but I was wanting to find an easy way to get gold charms and this might be it. Instead of killing hellhounds, um, it makes me use a lot of prayer and stuff. And uh, I got full void now, so I'm happy about that. But I'm going to see how this works out. And if it works out good, I'll just probably just keep on doing it this way because I need to start making more spirit bird or spirit terror bird uh, pouches. That way I can use it for my consumption and sell them. But this might be a good way, it might not. I was watching a little guide and it pretty much said to kill ice warriors and apparently it kind of varies I guess or something like that. But And uh, I also wanted to talk about something else. If you guys ever want me to watch a video and know my opinion on it, I mean, I know I'm not a professional or anything of that nature, but if you'd like to know my opinion on one of your videos, I would be glad to watch it. I mean, I like watching other people, like my viewers' videos like that. Um, I can't say I've ever had a video for someone asking me to watch a video, but. I have on my other channels and they were pretty good. I enjoyed watching another person's video and giving them my advice on what I think it is. Or like what I think of it. But I mean I can already tell you what I think of my videos. I think they're crappish or shitty, whatever you want to say it is. Um, it's not the best in the world, but it is what it is. I mean that's pretty much it. I am kind of tired. I stayed up late last night doing nothing. I wasn't even on RuneScape last night. I was just sitting on my couch watching my fireplace, which it wasn't. It didn't have any fire in it, so I just stared at that for about an hour, thinking and stuff. And I know it seems weird, but it is what it is. And. They're not too bad in my opinion. I don't think they're really bad. I'm not here for any cash or anything. Um, they're not really a challenge, which is a great advantage. Even though I brought a bunch of monkfish and stuff. That's just for me to be able to stay here as long as I can or as long as I want to really. Um, also, if you guys are new to watching my channel, you can check out the pest, you know, the Void Stairs Back Quest. I'm really proud of that. I'm really proud of myself doing that. Um, got a little carried away. Said I was going to do some stuff. But, yeah, I didn't do it. Because I suck at dancing. So, and where did my water go? There it is. <coughs> These aren't too bad for their level, to be honest. Um, they're level 57 ice warriors. I can't believe I have nothing to talk about today. But. Also, well, yeah, I kind of do have something to talk about. Um, I tried. I'm trying. I'm still trying to get accommodations for the elite row bottoms. Uh, the elite void ro void knight row bottoms, if you want to call it, but. Um, I don't think you can really get an elite helmet 
but I th I'm pretty sure you can get the legs. But and then the other day, I think I sold my melee set and for this void. As soon as I got full void, I just sold it because that I mean it was borrows, it degrades. I don't want to pay for something I've already paid. I've already paid for. I mean, don't get me wrong, it has its special advantages and everything like that, but it's not really worth it unless you're going to make, like, a lot of money or something, but I'm just screwing around. I don't really need money. Actually, money wouldn't be a bad thing right now. Um, also, I'm thinking of what 99 I should get next. One of my friends got 99 Fletching today, which that was... I was going to start recording this before, but then I found out that he was having his party, and I was getting ready to start with the recording, so I went ahead and went to it. But he went, he got 99 Fletching today. His name is actually in the clan, Rip Stacy, or Stassi, something like that. Um, if you guys want to congratulate him on his 99 Fletching, that'd be wonderful. Um, only, a only a few amount of people came to his little party kind of thing. Uh, I was one of them to go there, but... Um, actually today I had school today too, but I skipped. I told my mom, I said I'm going to skip today. She's like, alright. But, let's see... Oh yeah, like my class is going to Dollywood or something, and I don't want to go. I just rather stay home and do nothing. But there's other reasons. I'm not gonna talk about it. But I really, I'm really enjoying my Karasi, because I was getting. I mean, I've been using the whip for about two years, maybe. Ever since I got 70 attack, I've been using the whip. And actually, it was that was a long time ago. It was like three million or something. Then all the prices dropped. I lost a lot of cash from that. Gained a little bit from a couple friends and earned a little bit. Um, I can tell you one thing: if you look back at my old videos for making cash off of unicorn horns, that can be some pretty good cash. It's right now it's more than magic logs last time I checked. But I kinda rather chop magic logs. I mean you get experience and more cutting from that, but I already have I know more cutting, so screw it. I'd rather kill unicorns right now. And I don't really prefer anyone that had that's their level that's not in the nineties of war cutting to chop magic trees because it would take forever. And then I was also hearing a rumor saying, people were saying that a rune hatchet is better than a dragon hatchet. That is not true. I've tested it out before. I've had, tested that with a couple of my friends that has 99 wood cutting. But it kind of varies left and right. Mainly the majority dragon hatchet always wins. But that's just... And it's kind of common sense too, I mean... A dragon is better than rune all all the time, almost. Depends. But dragon's more expensive. I mean, I'm even using a rune hatchet now because I don't want to pay that much for a stupid dragon hatchet. I was using rune on ivy for a long time, and I just I just started using rune because I didn't want to pay that much cash for it. And I think that is all. During this video, I started with what seven charms, and I got 18 and one crimson charm they're not too bad that's about a 10 minute ratio of nine charms if you're low level go here if you're a higher level go to hellhounds a whole lot better get gold charms like crazy but I, I had a slayer task and I got 30 seconds left but I had a slayer task and I got a hundred charms 150 some charms out of of 196 hellhounds very good rather go there but I was just testing this out I'm going to go to hellhounds now and I will see you guys later